Hello, welcome again to Apple Pie English Schools. Uh, this is, of course, teaching, and today I'm going to teach a holiday. So this is one of our teaching lessons. So this is, again, part of our uh, hope and desire that people will study at home. So with our Slice of Pie uh, YouTube videos. So today's topic, of course, will be Father's Day. So I'm going to teach about Father's Day. Sometimes I might refer to my notes, but mostly I'll know. So Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, which is coming up, of course, in two days. Uh, so I want to teach about it and where it comes from. And I'll teach from the American point of view. You can research later. Uh, of course, you can see on Wikipedia here. I'll attach this in the show notes. But it has, of course, in, a, where is it? Yeah, 111 countries around the world, Father's Day. And what I didn't know when I was researching this is the, it's very, very old. It actually started, as it says at the top here, it's influenced, it was celebrated on March 19th, usually, as St. Joseph's Day since the Middle Ages. So, of course, since the Middle Ages, over 500 years or so, they've been, they celebrated in Catholic countries. But I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. I'll speak from the American point of view. It's the American point of view here, you can see it in the U.S. Uh, sorry, wait a minute, right here, so I can show you where I'm looking here. In the U.S., uh, of course, Father's Day was founded by uh, Mrs. Dodd. So Sarona Smart Dodd, if I can get her name right, and celebrated on the third Sunday in June for the first time in 1910. Uh, so I'll tell you the story about her and how she started it. And again, so if you want to, uh, let me close this. If you want to check out this page later, it will show like you can find your country, what country you're in. You can see most countries, of course, celebrate the same as America on the third Sunday of June, but other countries celebrate different times. You can research when your country celebrates and also uh, uh, your country's history. For example, I'm in Japan, what's Japan's history? By the way, before we move on, you can see here, of course, we also have, oh, sorry, let me do this again, spotlight. We also have the holiday also honors family members. We have Mother's Day, of course, very popular in May, maybe most popular. We also have a Siblings Day, uh, Brother Sister Day, and we have a Grandparents' Day, which America and Japan both have Grandparents' Day. So do you know when it is? So you should research. So Siblings' Day, for example, let me see if I can highlight here. Yeah, Siblings' Day in the U.S. and Canada is April the 10th. Of course, also in Europe, the Brother Sisters' Day on May the 31st. Anyway, back to today's topic about Father's Day and about Mrs. Dodd and what she did. As you see here, 1910, she started this holiday. So... How did she start it? So she uh, on in May of 2000, uh, sorry, May of 1909, she was at her church and they were celebrating Mother's Day. And she was sad about it. She's like, Mother's Day. Well, you know, I had a, my family, I had five brothers. So her and five brothers, it was six of them. So her and five brothers were raised by a father, a single father. Their mother, unfortunately, died when they were young, and they were raised on a farm, and their father raised all six of them by himself, mostly. Uh, maybe back then, some town, some help from the town. But anyway, going forward, in 1909, the Mrs. Dodd was in the church, and she thought, well, I mean, mothers did a lot, but also, how about my father? Let's have a day only for him. So she decided to talk to her church people and talk to her neighbor people. And this was in Spokane, Washington, where the first official uh, Father's Day in America was created. So she talked to her church people. And what's interesting about it, they finally said, okay, yeah, next year, let's do it. Let's do it next year. So as she's getting ready for it in the planning, she said, how about June 5th? That's my father's birthday. Let's do it on June 5th. But her minister said, wait a minute, June 5th, that's coming up this weekend. I can't finish that fast. How about... Uh, instead, let's change it to uh, the third Sunday. So by the third Sunday, I can get ready. So they give him two extra weeks, two weeks extra to get ready his speech. So, of course, he decided the third Sunday, let's do this. And she and they did the event and it became very popular in Spokane, Washington. And eventually, little by little, it grew across America. And by around 1930s, I think 1936, they decided, OK, Let's try to make this a national holiday. So um, the Mother's Day, I'll talk about that in another video later. But Mother's Day, I think, took like 30 years or so to become 
I might be wrong about that, but it was short, 20 to 30 years to finally become a national holiday. But Father's Day, already by 1936, it was like 26 years So since it was created. So let's try to make it a national holiday. And from 1936, they campaigned every year. And finally, uh, Nixon, President Nixon, made it a holiday in 1972. So from when the first event happened in 1910, it took 62 years for Father's Day to finally be celebrated. So, and of course, as we're speaking about it, I should say in America, what's typical? My Ikawa students, my English students ask me all the time, what's a typical present in America? And typical, as you can see in this picture, uh, fishing stuff, if your father likes fishing, whatever his hobby is. This is maybe uh, photography or fishing is maybe their hobby. But ties, I would say ties. I gave, I personally gave my father every year a tie or a handkerchief. And usually uh, I explain to my Japanese uh, students, their parents, usually what happens is the mother will give some money to the children. So 500 yen or a thousand yen, so $5 or $10. They'll say, okay, uh, son or daughter, go to the store with me. So, okay, but you can pick out what do you want for your father? And usually the kids will ask mom and mom will say, well, he goes to work every day, tie, tie is useful. Or handkerchief. Uh, we used to give handkerchiefs. So my father had lots of ties, uh, maybe not so attractive ties, but lots of ties from both of his children uh, every year or lots of handkerchiefs, uh, useful <laughs> items, I think. But also nowadays, more popular items, like I said, the camera here or fishing items might be popular with them. So as the last thing, of course, so as you're celebrating um, this Sunday or every year, uh, the third Sunday, and of course, oh, but a personal note, by the way, before I move on, my sister's birthday is June 17th, so it's very near Father's Day. It's very interesting. So I was actually born on my grandfather's birthday, so November 8th, but my sister was born June 17th, so so they used to say I was a present to my grandfather, so kind of my sister is kind of a present to my father, so she was born so close to Father's Day, and every year that was kind of special in my house. So, but for your house, so remember this Father's Day, please give to your father either, like I said, like in America, a tie or a handkerchief or something he likes, maybe a small food, maybe in Japan, I think sake or uh, beer might be popular, like a beer set, and give them so, give them a present, of course, uh, from your heart. And also, don't forget to hug your father, hug your daddy this Father's Day. And thanks again for listening to another lesson from Apple Pie English School's so this is our slice of pie, our daily English lessons. And this topic, of course, again, was uh, for Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to everybody in Japan and in America and around the world that watch this video. And again, I'll see you tomorrow for another one of these lessons with Kent.